You know, when I make a mistake, I don't make small mistakes. I make really big mistakes. We'll talk about it in the video. Roll the intro, and then let's play some catch up, I guess. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to FM 21, episode 35, take two. Uh, so, you know, I record in bulk, so I mentioned that several times. Oh, by the way, hit like if you like what you see, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you get reminders for daily football manager content Monday through Saturday here on my channel. Really appreciate you guys so much. Uh, big honking elephant mistakes. So I record in batches. I usually record one or two days a week. And then I render, you know, just about every day, try to get one or two episodes up. Because I'm putting up between six and eight episodes a week right now. And so the other day uh, I recorded, I'm recording this on Wednesday afternoon in the middle of a uh, freeze and I just got power back on after two days today, so I was trying to catch up some rendering. And my recordings that I had done Monday prior to the freeze, somehow or other, my audio, it wasn't muted. It got turned off in, in my OBS settings. I have no idea how I did that, but obviously I hit something and it screwed the pooch. So I was rendering today, and I was putting it into my uh, into into DaVinci Resolve, which is my rendering software, and no audio. I'm talking, and it's just my lips moving. Nothing. And I was like, I can't even try to overdub that because trying to match up the words with with what I was saying, it would look like a bad Japanese movie with English overdubs. So I said, man, eh, we're just going to scrap it. So three episodes for the DeGraff Shap series in the wastebasket. One episode for the Bielsa Journeyman say, series in the wastebasket. Uh, so as you can see, this is where we left off last episode. So I'm going to just let you pause it here for just a minute. Kind of play a little catch up. See who our goal scorers were. See who's in form. I don't even remember what's all happened in here, so I'm going to have to go in and <laughs> catch up on transfers, everything else that we have done. Oh my God, this is going to take forever. So anyway, expect a little bit longer episode today. Again, there's the scores. Uh, we had a little dip in form in November, December. Kind of got back into a good run, and we made it all the way to the Dutch Cup quarterfinals where we lost to Willem II. Uh, we then turned around a couple of days later and beat them 3 to nothing in the league. Uh, taking a look at the competition, they wanted us to reach the third round. We, as noted, made it to the quarterfinals, so a good year for us in the Dutch Cup. And we're supposed to avoid a relegation battle, and we are currently 7th in the table. 43 points from 24 matches, 13 wins, 4 draws, and 7 losses with a plus 15 goal differential. So we're doing really well. Board's very happy with us. Again, playing catch-up. So let's go in to the squad first and foremost, take a look at our, our appearance leaders. 25 matches for Chris Natumba, Elvis Barisic, and Elgiro Nateb, 23 apiece. Goal scoring leaders, 21 for Vicario, uh, 17 starts. He was on the bench at the beginning of the season. Then I was bringing him in uh, in off position, and then he started scoring goals, and I was like, I got to start this guy. He is so hot. An XG of 10 with 21 goals. Now, we've talked in comments, some of us, XG is not a be-all, end-all, but it's a pretty good indicator. So 10 chances, and he's put 21 into the net. He's having a hell of a season. 
Uh, Chris Natumba also in double digits with 10, uh, even though he's not our highest star rating. He's broke, you know, he's held his spot in the starting lineup. And uh, we'll talk about this Eugene Resnick guy in just a minute. Okay, Resnick we knew about because he had already arrived. So I was, again, I've lost a little bit of track with what's going on. Uh, so there's our goal leaders, assist leaders, uh, Natumba, Cervenka on the left wing, which is a place of issue. We have too many players. Uh, Shedahull, eight starts, ten reserve appearances. He is one of our team leaders. But luckily he hasn't thrown a fit. And uh, so we're doing pretty well. Let's jump into transfers and see what has transpired this year. So we have to go all the way back to the end of October, which we didn't make any moves here or in or out at that point. But you can see at the beginning of January, the January window, we've been very busy. What I decided, I got the email that about the guys whose contracts were coming due that were going to expire. And usually I either extend those guys or I let them go on freeze. And this year I said, you know, because I want them to be available during the season. But I looked and I said, you know, most of these guys aren't playing. So let's go ahead and just try to sell them and see what we can get. So the first move was uh, Thomas Berger and Christian Kayembe. They go off for some small money. Ken Jansen's was a center back. He was upset with not playing much. He was like third, fourth choice center back. So he was going to play a little bit, but it was going to be in a reserve when the other guys were tired. He goes off to Bari for 120000 The big move and the stunning move, Alberto Case demanded a trade, wanted to go on to a bigger club. He is the second young goalkeeper that we have had come through our youth system, start fours at the age of 15, and then want to go off for someone else. So Case goes off to AZ. I hated to lose him in the Arita VC, but he goes off for $14 million up front, climbing to $23 million. He's valued now at 15 and a half. I want to say he was about 12. So we got really good value for him. But again, he's only 18 years old, and it's killing me that he left for another club. But you know, AZ, PSV, these clubs are the ones that are at the top of the Arita VC every year. So I couldn't hold him back. Uh, Stratoslav, I liked him. He's come up through the ranks with us through our promotion and uh, just finally moved him on for a uh, little over three quarters of a million dollars to Almir. Stefan Bruner, uh, he was a center back, another center back. Uh, we sent him off. Uh, along with Victor Horvath, uh, for 757000 combined. Horvath bringing in the vast majority of that. Attila Pater, one of our young players, goes off to MT MTK for 300000 Dirks, another young player that really wasn't going to factor in for us. We get, a, we get some pocket change. Albert Reniers, one of our big players in recent years, left winger, goes off to Petrolol Piotelski, a uh, hundred close, right? One hundred and sixty thousand. Noah Vandergoes goes off to Rota on loan, and then Carlos Sores goes off, and he is a seventeen-year-old right back. Uh, again, just you know, he's got some potential, but way down the pecking order. We get uh, forty-five thousand up front. That'll climb to sixty. So our net outgoing thirty-three and a half million uh, to the club which we really need because we are, at, at the end of the day, we have to be a selling club. Taking a look at what we did to offset that, you have to remember we also lost Jean-Christophe Blom, our reserve keeper, to Lazio for $1.5 million, and we needed a keeper really bad. So coming in the window, uh, we went to AZ and took some of the money from the case deal, and we signed Calvin Grutunk, at for 4.1, climbing to 4.9. <clears throat> he is a central mid, defensive mid, really good defensively passing, and uh, first touch on the ball. I'm going to be rubbing my eyes because we'll talk about that during the match. Oh, God, they hurt, though. 
<laughs> and the lights aren't helping. Uh, but very good physically, and you can see he's started five matches uh, here in mid-February. Uh, he has stepped into a starting center back role, uh, center mid role. Uh, Adrian Delcra from Antwerp. We spent 120000 on him. There was another goalie that I was looking at, was a little younger, but he wasn't any better. And it was going to cost us about seven and a half million. And I said, I'm going to get this guy and then see if we get another keeper in our youth intake this year, which I don't think we are. But anyway, uh, Delcra is capped at U20 for Belgium. Uh, he started five matches for us, playing a 7.18 with two clean sheets, only allowed five goals. So he's doing well. Uh, the Cup, he gave up six goals in two matches, but that was against some really good competition because that was in the uh, quarterfinals and the third or fourth round, whatever that was. So he's our new starting keeper, signed as a backup. And then uh, Sonny Bouge, uh, 46 and a half. He's 18 year old. He's going to be another young keeper that we're looking to develop. We've got him down in the U23s right now. Uh, definitely not as good, but uh, he hit right at the end. In fact, that was right after the trade deadline uh, transfer window, but we brought him in. One of my scouts found him. So we've spent $14.5 million, brought in 33500 so almost $20 million to the good, and that puts us at $26.3 million in the bank, and we are at uh, 851000 on payroll, $1.27 million is our wage budget, and we've got $11.8 million in the, in the transfer budget left. Probably not going to spend any more of that, but what I am going to do with that is if we come across any young players um, as the season progresses, we'll look at signing them, and then we'll look at uh, expiring contracts later in the season. I think we've signed most of our players to new deals, but anyway, and I apologize, I don't know what happened. We did uh, we did Groningen and Spartan, and we did the Willem double header, and we did Ajax in the second round, Eindhoven and Ajax. So uh, I did want to just point a couple of things out. That was Resnick's debut. He got a brace in that one, uh, which you guys saw on camera. So you guys saw that one. Uh, Natumba with a brace here. Uh, Vicario had a huge third round cup, five goals against Groningen. That was huge. Uh, DeVries actually got a, uh, that was a friendly, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Vicario, after the five game outing, picked up a hat trick in his very next game. I can honestly say, I don't believe I've ever had eight goals in two matches by one player. And then he got a hat trick in the next match, running his tally to 11 in three. That was pretty astounding. And that's why he's got so many goals right now. I think he's going to, even though we've been eliminated, I think he's got a shot at winning the Golden Boot for the Dutch Cup. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, Natumba picked up a four minute brace, and Vicario picked up another brace in our recent game against Willem. And again, we are currently sitting seventh. Uh, we've played one more game than a couple of the clubs, but we have opened up a little bit of an advantage over AZ. So, again, that's another reason I'm really disappointed that Case decided to leave. So, we'll give you some highlights uh, from Feyenoord today, and we will play Venlo. Let me get up to the matches, and we'll get you caught up with some actual match and highlight stuff. In this one, we were away against Feyenoord. We're playing a 4-2-2-2 now. I've moved the number 10 up to a second striker. Samir plays it forward. Rossi misplays it. Vicario takes it a step to the right, brings it back across Chick-fil-A in goal. I always call him Chick-fil-A. And got another goal. Long throw. Resnick with the header across. 
tipped away by the defender, but Vicario's there at the near post, and he slots it home, his second goal. We actually were outshot 21-14 to and outpossessed, but defense was very solid in this one, and Vicario finishes with two more goals. Very impressive performance for him, and I believe that said we went into Euro Cup qualifying, so we have moved up into fifth on even footing with a lot of clubs around us. So next up is a tough matchup. Number two in the table, VVV Venlo. We'll be back for that match in just a second. All right, we're back. We're going to play Natumba and Vicario up top, Cervenka on the left, Resnick on the right. That's kind of where we've been playing him recently. Uh, Geert Thielmans, I'd really like to play him, but... Uh, Olivier and Grutunk in the mid, Barisic, Gerver, Samir, and Banachek. Oh, Nateb is suspended. That's why he's in. And um, Hossick, uh, we just sold him. Uh, somebody uh, somebody made an offer on him, and we uh, it was accepted. And uh, we gave the offer to buy now, and they took it. So he'll be leaving us uh in two days i think delcroft is going to play i was uh he missed the last match forgot to mention that uh with uh, an illness so he missed about a week but let's get to it and see some football action for the first time well for me in a while i guess you aren't going to really miss anything except a bunch of matches we're on a good run lately Go out there and impress me. We're in the blue and white. Venlo in their traditional yellow kits. And I believe, yep, extended highlights are on. So um, kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on. I mentioned that I did all this recording on Monday. Well, Monday night, we had a winter storm set in. You guys, uh, if, if you're in the States, you're probably aware. Uh, if you're not, uh, I live in South Texas in the Houston area, and let's just say it's hotter than hell down here, and there's one that's just off target, uh, but we just had a winter vortex come down here and put the kibosh on as we actually got snow uh, Monday night, power went out Tuesday about 2 in the morning, oh my goodness. How 30 yards, 30 plus yards. That was a bullet. Delcroix, what was that? He's even rocking back and forth like he doesn't even know what to do. Oh, just nobody marked him and he just pinged it. Second goal of the season. That's got to be a 20 goal scorer right there, right? Gee whiz. So uh, we've been without power since 2 o'clock Tuesday until. So. 36 hours we were without power, uh, freezing temperatures, it was miserable. Uh, so no heat, no electricity, just not not good. And uh, then, you know, the power came on today and I, you know, I did the things around the house that I needed to do. Oh, come on, Cervenka, tapped away by Haji, kept that from being a threat. Let's uh, let's shout some encouragement at them. And um, so, yeah, I go to start rendering a, a video, which should have been this video uh, for Monday, which is when you're going to see this. Um, no audio. Yeah. So then I start checking, and everything I recorded that day, three videos in this series and one video in the Journeyman series, None of them. None of them worked. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. So then I have to. I went into OBS, and I was trying to figure out, oh, there's a, oh, my God, I thought that was going in. And that's a hard takedown on the tomb, but no foul. Okay, I guess. So, yeah, so then I start going through OBS, and I'm looking at my settings, and I'm like, I don't know what happened there, but somehow my microphone uh, got deactivated in the in the audio settings, and I was like, "Oh my goodness!" So I apologize for you guys missing so much, but 
Not a lot I could do there. I guess I just need to really start checking after every episode to make sure everything looks right rather than just assuming <laughs> that it will. All right, can't, can't do anything here yet, but we do need to demand more. All right, Resnick cuts it inside. Vicario goes on a run with him. He took a ping right into a defender. Demand more. Barisic. Oh, there's a good through ball, and Cervenka slots at home, cutting inside from the wing. His third goal of the season equalizes at the 23-minute mark. And that was much needed. Definitely much needed. Back up into fifth, which is good. That long throw is not, not working too well. And look, Barisic could have cut that ball off, and he went back in full defensive posture. Oh, boy. All right, our flat back forwards. Oh, he had to have been off sides. Had to. Where's my linesman over here? Baloney. I mean, that guy was all in an offsides position. Oh, yeah, he, he had just passed Samir. Oh, come on. That's brutal. That guy's on the take. I'm calling it. I need an investigation by the FA. Natumba tries to do a flick onto Vicario. Nobody's there. Good tackle. And they just lump it out. All right, we are uh, we're struggling here. Let's check our tactic. I'm going to take off run at defense. I'm going to say be more disciplined. Everything's good there. I mean, all things considered, you know, Venlo is a club that should beat us. Resnick's called for an offsides. Of course he is. Olivier finds Cervenka, crossing the midfield. No, nope. he tried to cut it into Vicario, and they had a defender there to cut it off. Come on, find the pass. There's a square. Olivier takes a crack at goal. It's on target, but it is saved. Grutunk will take the corner. So now I'm trying to figure out who you guys haven't seen. Grutunk is one. That's now a regular in the side. Resnick, you, you saw, I think, last episode. Anybody else? Not that I can think of. Uh, Delcroix. He's new. He's definitely new. <laughs> and definitely a step back from Case, unfortunately. Flick on header. Resnick makes a slight run. Looking for some space. Squared in. Vicario gets two kicks at it, but it's blocked and cleared away. We do have early crosses, correct? I'm going to turn work into box. Because those early crosses aren't really helping us in this one either. Jensen makes the save on that one. Another long throw goes wanting. It's a nice header back to Benita. Good clearance. Finds the man. Sir Bink in some space. Give him a run, Natumba. You're supposed to be a striker up top. Olivier, there's a good ball. Vicario crossed into Resnick, and he slots it home, his fifth of the season. And he, he's doing well, but he had that brace in his first match, and then he went a long run without a goal. So it's good to see him getting on the score sheet again, most definitely.
Cleared out. Nice first touch by Konings. Bonita behind the back line. Enough pressure on him to cut the angle. Let's demand more again. We've got tighter marking on. I do not have get stuck in on because that just seems to lead towards a lot of yellow cards. Knocked away by Barisic. He's been playing some solid defense on that left side as of late. But, boy, they just have all day on the ball. Barisic came off of his man. A little bit of a curl on that, but it's too far away. I'll be happy with the 2-2 draw going in at half here. 15 shots for us, 8 for Venlo. I won't be, well, I would have been much happier with a goal off of that set piece. <laughs> Olivier all lumped down and Natumba takes a crack at it and that gets us to halftime um, let's pump our fist you deserve to win this match that's early encouragement again to kick off the second half Cervenka loses that one. Everybody's playing pretty solid. I mean, a 6-7 is our worst rating. A bruised knee. And Resnick, hold on, pause. Resnick, a tight thigh. All right, so I was gonna pull. Re I was gonna put Resnick up front. Vicario's got an injury, potential knee injury, so we've got to pull him off. Resnick's got to come off. We're gonna put Tealman's on that side. Vicario, we will bring on Devries and. Two injury subs, not what I was really wanting to do there. Let's encourage him again. Tealman's. Tealman. Oh, there's a nice first touch by Natumba. DeVries beats his man, crosses up the keeper, and his second goal of the season puts us up three to two. That was very nice. Uh, Tealman's is one of the young players that came up through our youth system. And he's really developed, and I really want to see him break into the starting 11. But right now, he's just not quite there. But he's good enough that we might consider selling somebody to give him the opportunity. I thought it would be interesting. Um, I've been watching um, Lelugio's poem save because the way he's got it set up, DeVries again off the mark, where he's got it set up to do, uh, you know, that he can only have homegrown players. So he has to sign them before they turn 18 and then have them stay with the club three years. And he can't, he can't sign anybody else, so it's really difficult. Oh, that's a great save by Jansons. Oh, my goodness. I want to slow up the pace a little bit, start time wasting, but I don't know. I don't know. I think we need to, we're, we're starting to look good here. So I kind of want to keep going. That's dangerous. Play it outside. There's a lot of space. There he is. Barisic, Cervenka. Oh, he was crossing it in for Tealman's, but Tealman's was not quick enough off the mark. So something along those lines, but not that you can't sign people, but maybe where you can only sign players of a certain age 
uh, to where they you, you have to build your starting eleven from your you know from your use. Oh, there's a nice nice one two, and Alice Servinka gets his fourth goal, putting us up two four to two in the seventy fifth minute. That was some nice ball movement right there around the fringe of the box. Natumba headed it back. Olivier heads it down. DeVries with the quick touch to Cervenka, and he pops it in. That was some brilliant, brilliant play. I'm going to give him some praise here. And then let's look at another sub. Nobody's playing horribly. Gerver, my main central defender, is probably the worst. And he's on a yellow, but that's okay. Um, I'm thinking, let's put Laval in, in that mid. He's good enough to start there and does start there a lot. I put Olivier in today. They're showing some deaf ball movement there. They, they've, they've been the better side, I think, most of the game. Cervenka, he can't stop the ball. There's a header out. Thielmans flicks it forward. DeVries is there. He's got a little space to run. He's got three people running with him. He's looking for help. Crossed in. Thielmans is there. Uh, Grutuk takes a crack. Thielmans beats his man. Crossed it in. Headed oh, and Vanacek. Skies it up into the fans. Should have done a little bit better with that. They're into a 4-3-3 with three strikers. That is the penultimate, what was that, FM-18 tactic? FM-19 possibly? I don't remember. But that was like the go-to tactic in, uh, in, in that one version. I had some huge goal scores with, uh, with a 4-3-3. Oh, there's a big save by Delcra. Licked over to DeVries. Cervenka stays on it, lays it in, and Natumba. Oh, good run by Natumba. The keeper just was caught in no man's land, didn't know whether to come out, stay back, and Natumba puts it in. His 11th of the season, and the second half has really turned in to something special for us beating the number two team in the table. Got to be happy with that. This was worth waiting for, wasn't it? I think you'd have to agree. I certainly agree. Thielmans. Play it through. No, don't do that. All right, DeVries is on it. No, that was not good. Needed to be a little more decisive with our decision-making in there. Five minutes of stoppage time. There's Laval taking the corner. Cleared out. Thielmans is beaten to the ball by Simons. They've got the advantage. He picks out the right man. And Delcro just stood there to watch that ball go wide of the mark. Luckily, we've got a foul there. I believe it's going to be a yellow card to Haji. Evidently nothing from the direct kick, but we do get the corner for another highlight. Counter opportunity, but there's the full-time whistle. Five to two. Got to like that. Green ratings most of the way around, all in the attacking end, all of the guys that came off. 28 shots to 13, 15 to 5. Well, I know I just said they looked to be the better team. They did just appear to have more possession, and they just appeared to really be on their game. But the stats don't back that up. So we'll praise the team. We will be happy with a win. That moves us up into fourth in the table, a game in hand, of course. So we've got uh, we've got some ground to make up, but we've closed our gap with Venlo to two points, 
So we're within striking distance of the top of the table at this point of the season. Got to be happy with that. Cervenka, two goals, one assist, number and quality of chances. And Van Barsfeld looking at Vicario. Who's this guy? He is the, the Hague uh, head coach. Yeah, not interested. Where, where are they? Why would he even want to go to that club? <laughs> we're, we're 27 points above them in the table. I think we're going to avoid the relegation battle, right? I mean, we're already at 100%. How many games do we play? I forget. 34. So we've got nine left. I definitely want to show you some more games. There's no more cup action, but we'll do... Um, tell you what, we'll come back for Ajax highlights and a match with FC20. They were one of the clubs that did offer us a job earlier or an interview earlier in the season. I turned it down. And then we'll come back for uh, RKC and top of the table Heronveen for the last episode for this season. Um, so you guys won't get cheated too much. Just crammed in at the end. I'm really sorry that you couldn't see some of these Dutch Cup matches. But that's how it goes, I suppose. You know what? For those of you that made it to the end of the episode, we're going to go back and watch the six-goal performance by Vicario in that Dutch Cup match. Uh, I do want to... I can't, I can't lift the highlights. All right, we're in the blue and white. That was a cheap goal on Delcra. This was one of his first games with us. Might have been the first game. And I tell you what, I, I was very worried in this game because look at that, another goal by Jacko giving him a brace, and we were in a 2-0 hole. There were 10 goals in this match. Resnick on that right wing, crossed in. Vicario spins it behind the defender, and that was his first tally of the match. Spans, finds Natumba. Vicario right place off the deflection by James, the left back. That was number two for him. Spans has left us, by the way. His loan, uh, he was recalled midseason, not playing enough. No, I take that back. He had a weird loan. It ended midseason. It, it ended in the window. So, And I just chose not to try to re-extend him. There's a third goal for Evelklins. Good move by Vicario, and then a 1-2 with Natumba. Takes it to the left, gets his right foot on it, plays it around the keeper, and that is number four for him. Just a few minutes later, they get an equalizer. Delqua should have done a little bit better with that. We were 4-4 at this point. Natumba rounds his man, plays it over the top. Vicario, one touch, banks it off the near post into the net, and that was number five. Unbelievable. And then a header off of the corner for his sixth goal. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Sakalo, but Vicario with five goals in that match, five of the six. What a game. What a game. So uh, anyway, if you stuck around to see that, thank you very much. I think it was worth it. Please hit the like button if you like what I, what I what you see. If you like the content I'm putting out there daily here for Football Manager, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do get daily reminders. Monday through Saturday, two different saves. This one, the single team save and our journeyman save, where we've just switched over to our third club. So it's a good switch over point. If you haven't been watching that, it's a good time to pick it up uh, with the third club. We are up in England with Leicester down in the championship. So go check that out. Let me know what you guys think of the transfers. I'm going to apologize one more time for the botched up audio causing me to scrap uh, four videos. But uh, here we are. So we'll see you guys in a couple of days for the next episode. And we'll see you. Take care. Bye.